Arabs are welcome, Muslims are welcome, white supremacists filth like Donald Trump and his KKK buddies are not. Sign the open letter on the tables here. Come to today's rally. Social assault, Tony, we put out a left wing paper that she's written a report on there. And then actually, I think there is a lot of hope for the future still. Take a stand against Donald Trump. Sign an open letter on the tables here. Show your support with people in America taking to the streets against this monster. Show your support for the protests in San Francisco. Show your support for the protests against New York, Trump in New York. Particularly, I think it's important to stand up against his homophobia and racism. There's many people that are really concerned about the homophobia and transphobia that he's likely to um, pursue now he's elected as the president of the USA and I think it's fantastic that so many people not just in America but around the world such as here in Australia are taking a stand against his horrid beliefs and his future policies that are both racist, homophobic and anti-women. I'm an American. I've been here for two months. I'm from near New York City, and I think it's completely despicable that we allowed American politics to reach this point and make half our population completely unsafe in their own country. I think it's deplorable, and I think something needs to be done about it. I definitely have taken a lot of faith in the grassroots organizations that I see pulling together after the election, coming forward with programs for the safety of LGBT youth, uh, protecting Planned Parenthood from government cuts, uh, I don't know that there's much we can do about, uh, you know, I don't know if there's much that we can do about Planned Parenthood being defunded, but we got to try everything that we can do. Did you did you vote while you were in in, in uh, Melbourne? I did. I had a mail-in ballot. I voted for Hillary Clinton, and I'm very proud of being able to vote for what I thought was going to be the, our first woman president in America. And now I'm crushed, and I'm angry. With the tens of thousands of people who have come out in Portland, who have come out in Oregon, who have come out in New York and L.A. to rally in the streets against Donald Trump, to rally in the streets against racism, to rally against the border wall, to rally against the deportation of Latino people. And we want to say we think those demonstrations are the most amazing first step in defying a presidency that is only going to mean horror and destruction for ordinary people's lives. So let's clap and raise our solidarity for those protesters. From Palestine to Mexico. From Palestine to Mexico. So we've got our own racist government to deal with here in Australia. We've got a government that locks up refugees, that tortures them in concentration camps. And we've also got our own uh, neo-Nazi fascist movement. So our first speaker today is Kieran Bennett from the Campaign Against Racism and Fascism, which has been a campaign group organising against groups like the United Patriots Fund, uh, organising against groups like Reclaim Australia to say that we won't stand for racism or Islamophobia. We see George Christensen trying to crawl into relevance on the back of Trumpism. We see every little fascist group across this country celebrating the rise of this seemingly explicit white nationalist leader in the United States. We have a problem here in Australia. We have a problem about racism here in Australia. We have the situation where the rise of Donald Trump in America, every fascist little parasite, every racist politician, and every political leader is going to go, how can I ride the coattails of this phenomenon? But it goes beyond the fascist fringe. It goes beyond uh, the neo-Nazis. It goes to the Liberal Party and it goes to the Labor Party. It goes to all the politicians that say something is happening here. I want to relate to this. I want to corrupt it. I want to involve it. And we have to reject that. We have to reject that forcefully. We have to reject the idea that there is anything in Trumpism that should be accommodated or, uh, or, or worked with. We need to understand the terrain in which Trumpism grew. And we need to understand the terrain in which the likes of Pauline Hanson did so well at the recent election here. We need to understand, we need to understand 10 years of Islamophobic racism from the state dressed up as the so-called war on terror. We need to understand the failure 
of social democracy to offer a real alternative for the grievances that people are feeling. We need to build the kind of anti-racist movement that can reject the rise of politicians like Donald Trump, that can reject... We need to build the kind of anti-racist movement that can tell Pauline Hanson to get back into the sewers. We need to build the kind of anti-racist movement that can fight back against the Liberal government. We need to build the kind of anti-racist movement that demands the closure of the camps, the end of Islamophobia, justice for Australia's first peoples. We need to do more. We need to build the kind of anti-racist movement that can defeat the attacks on working people and people's lives and conditions that feeds the conditions that allow the growth of this racism. But he's not for increasing the minimum wage. But he's not for supporting people like those who built his towers and work for him. We've all seen The Apprentice, the despicable way he treats ordinary people, the kind of... The way he humiliates ordinary people, working class people. This is not a friend of the working class. It's of course a disgrace on the democratic establishment and the American establishment that people felt so desperate and that there was no real alternative for ordinary people. I fully understand why my close friends and family in the US are grieving. They are grieving the loss of their future, their rights, and basic human decency. For LGBTI people, we are staring down the barrel of having our marriages taken away from us. As if a law overturned can make our relationships disappear. Trump has stated that he will sign the First Amendment Defense Act, which will effectively legalize all discrimination against LGBTI people Shame. in all sectors. Shame. From employment to retail to health care, as long as the person discriminating claims it was due to their religion. Trans people will be subjected to bathroom bills, which discriminate and end endanger trans and gender non-conforming oh, people. Nice. The promised repeal of the Affordable Care Act will mean the loss of access to health care for folks who otherwise can't afford it. As a queer American living in Australia, I'm still in the process of working out what a Trump presidency means for me. We're here to say that this is an outrage, that we're not going to let him have a single day in the White House without opposition, without people coming out on the streets, without people sitting in, and without people taking a stand. We're here to begin that process, so we've got a few chants, we will make up some more, but we're here to vow that we will not let this person occupy the White House in peace. Trump, someone who's never worked a day in his life, saying to 
millions of, me of Mexicans, Central Americans, South Americans, Latino people, with them without papers in the United States, saying to them, you people, you have to get out. This parasite who has never worked a day in his freaking life, living in freaking penthouses built by freaking Mexicans, Central Americans, and South Americans, actually says to the people that have labored their whole freaking lives to build the United States, to make it the society that it is right now, that they have to get the fuck out. If anyone has to get the fuck out, it's Donald Trump. What Donald Trump wants to do in the United States, you're already doing here. Yeah. You're doing it to, uh, to refugees locking yeah. up in the room on this island. So I think it's important that we go, we also look at what's happening in our backyard and we take up those questions as well. Fight the status, the status quo, the, the, the establishment here too. So, you know, close down all the, all the countries on this island, open up the waters. The waters are fucking made up so the roots can fuck us all over. So it's no surprise, everybody knows by now, he's well reviled, Trump is well reviled for his obscene, fucking disgusting racism against Latinos, against immigrants, against Muslims, and oh, guess what, guess who he hates as well, he hates black people too. And so the American state has a long, and for people like Trump, proud tradition of deep structural racism against black people. And so Trump is very proud of this, he's proud to stand in that tradition. It's created some of the most racist groups and figures, um, and Trump emboldens all of them as well. And I think to start off with, Trump just loves the police. He loves 100% law and order, and if that means the wanton gunning down of black people every 20 hours or so in the US streets, if that means stop and frisk, which he thinks is a great policy. He's for that. He's 100% for that. As well as that, he, he hates anything that gets in the way of this law and order campaign. It's going to be in his firing line. So one of those things is the Black Lives Matter movement, which he hates. He thinks this gets in the way of business as usual in Australia, in America. So he hates this as well. The, um, the, one of the things he's done, he's called for a criminal, in, uh, an investigation into the criminal activity of the Black Lives Matter movement. As if the people protesting against injustice are criminal and not the ones in killing of black people. The harassment, the intimidation, the death that goes on every single second of every day in American society. He thinks that black people are the problem. Shameful. Fucking shameful. And then, and then he condemns he condemns their protesters, but when they come into his Trump rallies to try and to take a stand against that racism, he condones, he incites violence and assaults from his supporters against them. He's okay with them calling them the N-word and all of the rest of it. He incites that kind of violence. It's shameful. And then the rest of it, what he does is he supports the Blue Lives Matter crew. Not just the Blue Lives Matter crew, but the Blue Lives Matter crew. Exonerating the racists, the bigots, the people who are okay to just kill um, and harass black people every single day in America. And as well as that, he tries to pose as the friend of black people. Sickeningly enough, he actually says he's the friend of black people because he wants to eliminate lawlessness and black on black violence in American communities. This is just a Nazi lie from Donald Trump. He's no friend of black people and we've got a law at the Black Lives Matter movement for being part of those protests, for being part of the protests that have erupted across the US in the last 36, 48 hours to say no to Donald Trump, no to his racism. And it doesn't matter him as a person because he's just a nasty piece of shit, excuse my language, but the, you know, the people he's endorsed and the people he's, he's encouraged from now on, that's where the problem lies. This guy has quite literally validated thousands of racists and he's given them a voice. And this is why we're here today. And I can see that the majority of you guys look white and I'm really proud to see that the majority of you guys are from the same race as the people that are racist. So it's, you know, we need this unity. We need people to stand with us. We need people to say no to Islamophobia, no to racism. No from Palestine to Mexico, border walls have got to go. From Palestine to Mexico, border walls have got to go. From Palestine to Mexico,
Inflammatory, it's uh, intimidating, it's just typical of any any leftist rally these days. And really this is why they've lost these kinds of rallies where they call people regular, normal, hardworking people, racist or sexist when they just want a better life and they want change. And uh, yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> you supporters of, of Donald Trump? Yep. Yeah. What do you want to say about today's rally? I feel that these people are saying worse things about Trump than Trump has ever said about anyone before. Yeah, um, I think that the, the normal hard-working people of the United States uh, have had quite enough of uh, these kinds of people uh, telling them that they are racist and they're sexist for wanting change. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm here today, to support my preferred candidate.
dirty worker figure. Um, he's come out again and again calling for a drop in the minimum wage, calling um, to crush trade unions, and that's exactly what Malcolm Turnbull does in Australia. That's exactly what Pauline Hanson stands for. That's exactly what Barack Obama did for year upon year upon year. And so now it's time for workers all over the world, for students all over the world, to come out and say that we're sick of having our institutions crushed, that we will fight as workers, as students, in our trade unions. We will fight against the ruling class, no matter whether it's Trump, whether it's Obama, whether it's Malcolm Turnbull. Trump is a corrupt bastard and he needs to leave the government, as do so many others in our political powers, such as Obama, Turnbull, Hanson and everyone else within the capitalist system. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we're out here protesting Trump and the fucked up system that he stands for against racism, bigotry, Islamophobia, sexism, um, everything that is wrong with the system today. So fuck Donald Trump. Yeah. It's called Box Wall. Trump! 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 Donald Trump! 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 Donald Trump! I'm basically here because I don't believe someone in power should be sexist, should be accused of sexual assault, racist, a bigot. It should be someone who actually represents all people, and that's just not what Donald Trump is. Don't talk. No, I just believe in like being loving, and it should be someone who represents people, should actually care for everyone. It shouldn't try and get rid of people who are immigrants, who are Islamic, who are Mexican. Women shouldn't be objectified by someone who is president because it allows everyone else in society to objectify women, to be racist and be homophobic and everything else he stands for. Okay. Um, the rally's now finished. How, how do you think it went? I think it was an excellent demonstration. So many uh, young people, so many people coming out to say that they won't stand for racism and Islamophobia to be uh, the next four years of world politics and to say that we want to fight and stand up against Trump and everyone like him. So I think it was a really great demonstration. Okay, what do, what do you got planned for the next four years? Uh, we're going to fight around every single thing that Trump tries to pass when he tries to get a wall up, when he tries to attack, uh, you know, women's rights and uh, against abortion and all the rest of it, when he tries to deport Latinos and um, Hispanics. We're going to be out fighting, but we're also going to keep fighting against our government as well because everything that Turnbull says he want to do, Turnbull's already doing it. The Australian government's already doing it.